is that a true student don't even argue with his master. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's Listen. True. The conditioning of the mind is, mm -hmm. you know more than I do. Mm -hmm. I come yes. to you knowing nothing. Mm -hmm. Because if I come to you, mm -hmm. if you come to me, and let's say this cup is filled with water. And I can't pour anything in it because anything I pour in is going to spill over mm -hmm. and I would never be able to pour into mm -hmm. you until you empty. become empty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you don't come to me turned upside down mm -hmm. saying all that I know was stupidity. Jesus, Jesus. Now I'm here to know mm -hmm. all that you know. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. That's mentorship. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now your 10,000 hours can begin. Mm -hmm. And we can start filling this up quickly. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if you keep saying, but, what if, and then doing it your way instead of learning the master's way. Mm -hmm. See, it's those that don't learn the master's way mm -hmm. that end up never coming into mastery because they never learned how to become a student so how can they become a teacher of students? You can't teach what you have not become. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow. So when you're learning in those 10,000 hours, you learn to listen. Mm -hmm. Some people never learn to listen. One of the things I learned when I was with Reverend Ike for all those years, you know, I kept thinking about it. I was, um, Reverend Ike showed up in my life in 1994. And um, he would always say, son, you took me out of retirement. He said, I wasn't fooling with anyone. And I'll never forget, um, Reverend Sharpton, he was sharing this with me. He said, um, he said some years ago, he said, Reverend Sharpton, um, Reverend, I, I had the together, we were t together at a, um, and um, Reverend Sharpton, said that Reverend Ike said to him, says, um, what do you think about Bishop Jordan? He said, I think he's a great man. He's a powerful prophet, great spiller. He says, well, and, and it's funny because cause, cause Reverend Sharpton just told me this a couple of weeks ago. He said, Reverend Ike said to him, said, well, I'm testing him the way Jesse had tested you. And he said that that was just very interesting. That he, he said, and he said to me, he said, Bishop says, you know, I didn't even know that there was a test going on. <laughs> and we laughed. Because masters qualify the students they pour into. Mm. There are many people that are around me, but I don't teach them or invite them all into the same thing. Mm -hmm. Because you have to look at the condition of the student. Mm. And you have to look at the... Um, not just the condition of the student, but how much does the student really want to absorb and what part of teaching that they want to absorb from you. I have a, um, a pastor right now. I'm giving the same assignment to some of our prophets here. But I have a pastor right now. He's been talking to me about saying, I want to go on TV, I want to go on TV, I want to do TV, I want to do TV. He's been on me about that for about six months. Says, Bishop, you just won't work with me. You won't really help me. He's coming, he's coming into poem. He's already finished, paid up for poem. He'll be in poem. I says, okay. I says, you want, I says, you think you're serious about this? He says, I'm really, I want this. He says, I've been in pursuit of you for a year for this. I says, this is what I want you to do. I said, I want you to write me one letter a day, like Paul wrote letters to the church. I said, I need you to write me a letter a day. He said, no, nah, problem. First three days, he sent me a letter. By day four, he said, Ooh. he said, I'm running out of stuff. He said, I says, yeah. I said, because now your mind's got to work. I said, you got to be able to write a letter. I said, if you can't write a letter, 
you're not going to be able to write the books. If you can't write the church. Paul, why was Paul more effective? Because he wrote more letters to the church. We're finding here our greatest challenge is that we're having a hard time getting prophets the ability that want to write. The prophets that did not write, you didn't hear much from them in scripture. A people that don't write, their history becomes forgotten. And we are in an age of infopreneurs. Communication, writing. So this individual, I'm reading his letters every day. I'm getting his letters, saving them in a file. Doing pretty good. He says, I've been watching all of your letters. I says, great. Keep writing. Then I tell them what he needs to critique them. I said, you either do a bank of letters for one year, and then I will let you know if you're ready for television. Because what sense of it is it for you to go on television and you can't pay your TV bills? That's and true. then you're in panic mode. Mm. This is mentoring. Most people want the glamour of the success, but they don't want to do the hours. Mm. And you have got to put the hours in something in order for mastery to be seen. Okay, 212-316-2177. Um, I am working on it. Listen, this, um, this book is going to be a dynamic book. Those of you who are at home for training, your life is going to be changed. Because now what this is going to help you with is personal mastery and coordination. And once you become a master, you will begin to discover you will not be able to walk among losers. Okay, let's get ready. We're